I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Hey guys, my name is Alan with the Renaissance Man Image Consulting, and today we're going to be talking about transitioning out of your college wardrobe. Okay, guys. So you're transitioning out of your college career. Adulting is becoming more and more realistic. So it's time to get rid of your old clothes from college. You know what I'm talking about. The tank tops, the polos, the boat shoes, the khaki shorts. It's time to transition into a more professional, more adult wardrobe. Okay guys, so first thing you're gonna notice is that the majority of your casual clothes are gonna be worn on the weekend. So your jeans, your casual shirts, your sneakers. Now look into your profession to decide what type of wardrobe you're gonna to wanna to build ideally. So are you gonna be in banking? Are you gonna be in research? Are you gonna be more of a casual wardrobe? Think versatility and think getting the most wear out of all of your clothes. So if you're gonna be a business professional, business casual professional, you're not gonna want a bunch of casual shirts because they're not gonna be appropriate in the workplace. So think versatility, stick to neutral colors, and essentially get fundamentals like leather shoes, get your dress pants, get your dress shirts, and then eventually you start adding flavor and you start building your wardrobe over time. Okay, so you're gonna wanna get rid of your graphic t-shirts, your oversized shirts, your dirty old sneakers or jeans that are completely worn out. Make sure you invest in a good barber or hairstylist to keep your hair groomed. When you become a business professional, you always have to look presentable. So remember, style starts with the shoes and ends with the hair. You gotta have those two staples and think bottom up. So you're gonna wanna find a balance between affordability and quality of clothing. A lot of times guys don't wanna spend a lot of money on their wardrobe so they go out and get clothes that aren't very good quality and then in the long run they end up spending more money because the clothes don't last very long. So when you first start off think of investing more money into your staple pieces that are going to be used most frequently and pieces that aren't worn as much you can eventually spend more money on these items. So let's say business casual is the go-to for your profession after college. Think of investing more money into quality dress shirts into quality dress pants or jeans, and into quality shoes. I tell guys this over and over again. Invest in at least one quality suit. You never know when you're gonna have to present, when you're gonna have a formal function or a wedding or any sort of function that essentially requires a suit. So the colors that I recommend are gray, or navy blue as your first starter suit. They're versatile, they can be worn year round, and they can be worn to many, many different occasions. Now that we're on the topic of suits, make sure that the one suit that you do own is tailor fitted to your body. Spend the extra money, get, get a suit off the rack, take it to a tailor, and make sure it fits you well. Another thing to remember guys, when transitioning out of your college wardrobe, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither was your wardrobe. Now you don't have to go spend crazy amounts of money to get your first wardrobe or start building it. Make sure that you make it a long-term investment in your wardrobe. Slowly start adding, slowly start building that wardrobe to get the ideal look that is versatile and effortless for yourself. Okay guys, another great way to step up your style game and add versatility in your life after college wardrobe is to invest in accessories. I'm talking watches, is a good place to start. Invest in a nice watch or two, they add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of personality, a little bit of style to your daily business casual outfits. Okay guys, next up, find a good hair product and learn to groom your hair. Like I said before, your overall style starts with your shoes and ends with your hair. Make sure that you take care of your hair, you learn about products, and essentially, you're well put together at the workplace and you look presentable. Lastly, I know style isn't easy. Find examples of outfits or ideal looks that you would wanna go for to generate ideas, to get creative, to build the ideal look that you want for yourself. Some good places to start, Pinterest, 
Google, and if you haven't checked it out already, the Renaissance Man Image Consulting's very own YouTube channel. Check that out. We got good stuff on there. But overall, make sure that you're consistently exposing yourself to guys that are already stylish in your eyes, guys that you want to aspire to look like, and slowly build that wardrobe over time. Gentlemen, my name is Alan with the Renaissance Man Image Consulting. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. And I'm feeling good. I